All right, lads. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? It's like a zit, but it's like the size of fucking Pluto. I know you're gonna dig this. How's it going, lads? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Today we have an 80,000 coin squabbler. Um, I think I got a few questions, or not a few questions, a few requests for an 80,000 coin squabbler. So I thought I'd bring you guys one. It's in the 422 formation, but first I want to show you something. So you guys know how it, it was my birthday on Wednesday, right? And my sister's this kind of artistic type. That sounded like autistic, but she's artistic. And uh, she's done me this. Wow. Now, if you haven't seen this on my Snapchat, which I would definitely recommend going to follow, or my Twitter, she did this for me. We haven't hit 7,000 subscribers yet, but uh, this is like a thing where she has it dated on the back um, from when she gave this to me. So hopefully when I get big, I can look back on this and go, yo, good times next thing is i don't know where to put it up on the wall i could put it up there i could put it there i don't know to be honest because i don't know where it'll be seen in videos but yeah it looks sick anyways enough talking about that let's get into the squabbler in goalkeeper we have a team of the season card that i would not recommend to use let's start off that way yo sillison is only in the team for uh, chemistry i thought he might be good seeing as he's a team of the season he is shit, so I would definitely recommend to use someone else. In fact, I would definitely recommend to use another whole, like, left-hand side of the defense if you want to. If you want to use someone else from the Eredivisie, I would definitely recommend it. But he links up to Terence Congolo and Mehdi Benet. He doesn't link uh, to Benet, but Congolo's card for 400,000 coins, 400 coins, sorry, is great. The price you pay for his uh, non-rare card He's a sick centre back. He really, really is. Benatia, you could use Boateng here. Seventeen thousand coins more though. Benatia's card is great at defending, great at physical. He's like six foot four, so he's literally one of the best centre backs I've used. Pace wise, not great, obviously, but uh, I, 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 I think this defence is really good. Full backs. Then we have uh, one pretty weak fullback but he's the only one that gets chemistry and that's on the right and left we have jetro villems four star skills left back which is uh i actually wanted to use him he was being price fixed when i, I was doing this so he should be going down gone back down to like under a thousand coins and um, we got rafina on the right then he's only there for chemistry really uh, he's not too bad of a defensive fullback but he's just a little bit weak that's all villems is a great left back though cdms then we have Urbez from the Argentinian League and we have Arturo Vidal in the other sentiment position I love Vidal you guys know I love Vidal in this game one of the best players in the game full stop he's got the best card stats like he's just incredible Urbez though is a uh, pretty solid as a CDM he's crap shooting but other than that he's actually really really solid like me <coughs> yes that was a penis joke what has my channel come to? In the two camps, this is kind of the reason why I built this squad. We have uh, Gundogan on the right, upgraded Gundogan, recently just moved to Manchester City, if you didn't know. And also team of the season, Nicolas Lodiero from Uruguay. He also plays for Boca Juniors. Uh, you'll notice that with the striker as well. You can probably tell who the striker is. I like both of these cards. Gundogan's card is fantastic. I love uh, his, his FIFA card. And um, Ladero's card feels a little bit slow, but he's got great passing stats, great dribbling stats, and great shooting stats. What else can you ask for? And up top to complete the team, we have two of the sweatiest strikers in the game. Like, literally, look at me. I'm dripping already. It's a Bamiang and Tevez. Upgraded a Bamiang, by the way. A Bamiang's card, I've used him so many times. You guys know about him by now. One of the best strikers, if not the overall best striker in the game, like, of not special cards. And then Tevez on the other side. Could be played at Cam if you wanted to use another striker from uh, the Argentinian league there if you wanted. But he's incredible. I love Tevez. He's so strong. He's so fast. He can do everything past you. He's brilliant in this game. Anyways, guys, this is the full squad. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's go and show you the clips we got with this team. I'm going to get some fucking spot removal from my fucking head, man. It's like Mount Vesuvius on my fucking head. Speaking of Mount Vesuvius... Actually, I don't have an analogy for that. Forget I said that. Anyways, this team. Yo, I actually... Kind of like this formation. Uh, a lot of people say that this for uh, formation has been nerfed, but if you can play this game pretty well, this formation might do you good. Now, if I was a normal for, uh, FIFA player that doesn't play this game quite often, don't use this uh, formation. I would definitely say this. And don't use the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is horrendous. 37,000 coins, Silicon costs. He is woeful. Absolutely dreadful. Don't use Silicon. So, what I would recommend to do is get rid of Congolo, Willems, and Sillison, and put in somebody that's real cheap, like Handanovic, Miranda, and Alexandro, or something like that, and you'll have a much better time of it in uh, defense, which is what I should have done from the start, but I didn't, you know? Anyways, the rest of this team is fantastic. Even Congolo and Willems are good, but if you want to get chemistry, you'll need to take them out, I'm pretty sure. Benatia, I love that center back, man. A lot of you guys don't like him, and I, I can see why, because he's not fast. 
But if he is such a rock in the defense, and Congolo is pretty much the same, except for he is actually fast. He's a little bit weaker than Benatia, obviously. Rafinha on the right back position, not that great, but he's there for chemistry. Willems, I love his left back, one of the best in the game because of his four star skills. You got the midfield down of Herbez and Vidal. Vidal, one of my favorite players in the game, hands down, like no question. Um, and then Herbez is a kind of hidden gem. His shooting is crap, like I said in the intro, but he's still a fantastic, like, CDM. He, he clears shit up. Uh, Nicholas Lodiero's team of the season and Ilkay Gundogan's uh, upgraded card. Gundogan's card feels like his proper center mid card. He can finish, he can pass, he can run, he can skill, he can st uh, strength people off, you know what I mean? He's actually really sick. Um, Lodiero is more of a Coutinho S player. If you've ever used Coutinho on FIFA, you'll know what I mean. He plays pretty much like that. And I'd say he's a little bit better than his. Uh, uh, then Coutinho's base card. The strikers then, Aubameyang and Tevez, you guys have used these guys countless times. I don't really need to explain much about them, apart from the fact that they are broken. And when I mean broken, they're just insanely overpowered. <laughs> they are literally two of the best strikers in the game, like hands down. You guys will agree with me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will catch you later. It's uh, currently half two in the afternoon. I cannot wait for the France game. Tell me what you think is going to happen in that game. And if you're watching this in the future, don't tell me the score, because I want to watch it, bitch. Bye.